So hey, Frank Paris here. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you this very interesting coin that I have. Uh, um, usually, as a magician, you use gimmicked coins, or you don't use God. If you're a purist, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, you don't use gimmick coins. Uh, magicians use gimmick coins, uh, all kinds of gimmick coins to do different transpositions, vanishes, productions, uh, transpositions. And uh, so I'm quite familiar with coins uh, as a, a magician who's been in the business 50, 55 years. Uh, and so, uh, but I wanted to bring up this one coin that my son gave me as a uh, as a uh, Father's Day gift. Uh, now, my son's been around magic his whole life. I mean, he's come to magic conventions where I was a dealer selling magic props. Uh, he's been to other conventions where I sold antiques and collectibles and that kind of thing. So he has been around coins his whole life. And part of what he does now as an influence to uh coins he's not a magician i mean he does a mean mean retention pass i mean it would make uh shin lin and uh and, and eric jones proud uh and uh people like jeff mcbride and david copperfield would just bend down and kiss his ring if they they saw his retention pass i know <laughs> i'm really overstating now and overemphasizing but he um he's my son so i got to be proud of him so this coin okay is a coin that he gave me for um, for Father's Day, and uh, it's not cheap. It's expensive in two states. It's expensive in the state as a normal uh, coin, American dollar, and it's also uh, in the gimmick state. It's worth just about, if not more, depending on the condition. So this one here is in pretty good condition. I'm not going to tell you what it is first. I'm going to let you see the front and the back. So here is the front of the coin. I turn this upside down here so you can see it. There's a, oh, got to turn it this way. Uh, oh, by the way, what's wrong with my camera here? Okay, here, it's trying to follow two things. Uh, I have an OBSBOT, OBS Bot Mini camera, which uh, uh, follows you around. Okay, it's a little tiny thing. It's a webcam, and it goes on the... Uh, on the uh, either on the way on on the, my laptop or on the uh, on, on a tripod or whatever you want to put it on, and you can record. It's got record software, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm recording this, uh, and so I, I didn't mean to bring that up, but you're wondering how the camera is following me, and this is a tiny little thing, and it was on sale, normally $199 on Amazon, and it was uh, $149, and I bought that in a new laptop. <laughs> during the uh, Amazon uh, Prime uh, uh, two-day sale of a couple of days ago. But you know what? I, I didn't really need to buy a new laptop, but I bought one anyway. Uh, the coin, let's get back to the coin. The coin is called the Trade Dollar, T-R-A-D-E Dollar. And if you look them up on Etsy and YouTube and you look them up on uh, eBay, you will see these Trade Dollars. This one happens to be an 1877S. Don't ask me what the S is for. All right. My hand is getting tired, so I'm going to switch hands. So this 1877 uh, uh, trade dollar was used only because of the words trade dollar. Uh, and it was a precursor to uh, Morgan dollars uh, in the 1880s. Uh, this was only used, supposedly to be only used in trading in foreign countries. Okay, and mostly Asia. Okay, so this this trade dollar, let's hold it up like this so you can see that is an 18, I'm going to hide the uh, 1877, got to grab it another way, 1877, oops, I got to get the first day with the new camera. Okay, 1877 trade dollar, and it's silver, it's a silver dollar. Okay, so what makes this unique, this trade dollar, is it's the first silver dollar that the, the United States minted for trading with other countries. They didn't use this in America, this trade dollar. It was basically used when you went to a foreign country, you'd carry a whole bunch of these things to buy, sell, or whatever, because the content was the silver. And silver at the time was whatever it was. And uh, so this silver dollar 
is what we used in foreign country. We didn't use American cu currency. And I think the reason we didn't use American country a currency was because foreign countries didn't want to use American country. Um, they wanted to use uh, coins or bullion that was valuable so that they were getting what they wanted to get for whatever item they were buying because of the silver content or the gold content. Uh, we'll get into gold coins some other time. I'm not a coin guy. My son is the coin guy. He buys and sells exotic coins, and he's got some very rare coins in his own collection, as well as gold and silver uh, bullion. Uh, and again, he's not a magician, but you know, uh, we can't uh, we can't fault him for that. You know, he's he's doing what he's doing in his life. He's also an engineer, like I was, a uh, computer engineer, like I was when. Uh, so he followed in my footsteps. But anyway, he gave me this coin as a gift. And what makes this coin unique, this 1877 silver trade dollar, what makes it unique is that it's called, this particular kind of trade dollar has been modified. It's gimmicked. And they call it an opium dollar, or they call it a box dollar, or they call it a trade dollar. So opium box or trade dollar. But this one is gimmick so that when you, I'm going to try to do this. When you try, when you press by the eagle, let me just get my fingers set up here. Give me a second here. When you press by the eagle, like so, I'm going to bring this close, and you press, look what happens. The shell opens up, the back of the coin opens up. Now I'm going to just... Grab a hold of it very gently and just open it up. And you've got a hinged, a hinged <coughs> coin. And so I guess this was the first uh, uh, Todd Lassen person or the first uh, uh, Jamie Schoolcraft uh, person or the first uh, Johnson or the first uh, whoever you want to call it, uh, coin gimmick uh, group of people that were out there in the country making these coins. But what was nice is he put a picture of the two of us. I'm trying to get my perspective here. He put a, a picture of the two of us. Oh, I can't do this right. It's okay. Uh, and I'll turn it this way. Here we go. The two of us uh, together. And he cut a little black and white picture that my wife had given him. And he stuck it in there. And that's why this, coin, this uh, trade dollar is very uh, valuable. Now, they do sell opium trade dollars hinged or opium or trade dollar hinged coins, and you can buy one of these too, but they're not cheap. This one was $450. What a nice gift for my son. And uh, because he knows I'm a magician, he knows I like gimmick coins, and uh, this was going to be one of those prized possessions that I was going to either carry around with me or uh, put on display somewhere in my magic collection behind me and wherever else I got magic. But that's the coin. And what's nice is this thing, just the workmanship is amazing, but it closes up and then you slide it down and snap. So your coin is literally a solid coin. And the Chinese uh, uh, people uh, or the people who were in business, we used to put secret messages in them. They used to put secret messages to carry back to the states or to carry to other countries or they used to put opium in them or whatever so these were around these were spy craft coins back in 1877 so let me just show you that date again that's 1877 so i just wanted to show you this coin and honor my son matthew who is a coin collector. He also does metal detecting and he finds a lot of valuable stuff. And he became a colonial coin expert. Uh, that's early American coins. And of course, this is an early American trade dollar, American Morgan, not an American silver dollar, just the precursor to the, I said the precursor, I hope that's the right word, a precursor uh, to the Morgan silver dollar. And, of course, this would polish up nice, but you don't want to do that because that takes the value away. So that's it. That's my Father's Day gift from my, my son. And it is a 1877 trade dollar in excellent cosmetic condition. There are no dings or anything on the coin, which also increases the value of the coins. 
And that's it. Frank Paris, let me zoom out. Over and out.